Hey everyone, I have a craft project for you today. I'm going to show you how to make this adorable wallet or coin purse out of a milk or juice carton. This wallet can fit most of the standard cards that we have and it's also a recycle project, so it's extra awesome. Let's talk about the supplies that you need for this project. You can use any of the half gallon milk or juice carton, some type of a cutting tool. Here I have an X-Acto knife, a pair of scissors, uh, something pointy to score the line onto our milk carton. Here I'm using a nail art dotting tool, but you can also use a uh, out of ink pen, an old pen. Um, ruler, very important to keep our line straight. I have a piece of paper towel here to clean up the inside of our milk carton, some tape, and most importantly, our pattern. I'll leave the link in the description box below for you to download. You only need to print it out once and then you can use it for many of your wallet. I also use these small paper clips First thing first, let's cut out our pattern. Be sure to take your time and cut very close to the lines that are drawn for you because you only have to do this once. Just take your time, do it right, and then you can keep using it for many of the wallet projects in the future. Once you're done cutting out the two pieces, you would want to line them up against each other like this and use a few small pieces of tape to attach them together. To cut out the circles easily, you can just fold the pattern in half and follow the lines that are drawn. To prep the milk carton, just remove the cap, put it aside and start tearing it apart from the seam. Just be gentle with it. Um, there's only one seam that runs from the top to the bottom of the milk carton. Do not cut yet, just pull it apart gently and then cut the bottom part um, away. This is the part that we're not going to be going to use so that's okay if you go a little rough but the whole point here is to have the milk carton uh, become a flat sheet of material for us to work with. So use your paper towel and clean up any uh, excess water you might have at the bottom of the milk carton and then place your pattern on top and you want to use the spout of the milk carton as a guide. Here I'm trimming off the top part uh, to make sure that we have a nice clean edge to work with. So to attach the pattern, I use those small paper clips. Uh, you don't have to, you can use a little bit of tape, but to protect your pattern, you want to um, use some kind of paper clips like this is much easier. So in order to have the pattern on our material, I use a marker to draw the pattern um, onto the milk carton. And here I'm using a Sharpie. This way, again, we can protect our pattern. And what I do is to put a little tick mark at the end of those um, sunburst line. After I do that, I just remove the pattern and extend those tick marks a little bit uh, into the pattern. So now you can cut without having to have the pattern on. So the next thing I do is to use a pair of scissors and cut along the line that we just draw. Um, the rest of the milk carton uh, can be discarded. We don't need it. This is all we need for our wallet. The next step on this project is scoring and folding. You can see here that I lay the project flat onto my cutting board and then use different material to create a score line. After I finish scoring, I would fold it to make sure that we have a nice and crisp line. And this part is very important because at the end you might have a wallet, but it will be all wonky if you're not scoring these lines nicely. Um, in between, I choose to cut out these circles. This circles is going to be the flap that folds over your wallet. So cut out the circle and clean it up with a pair of scissors. Here, I'm actually extending, extending the circle a little bit more to make sure that it fits over the spout of the milk carton. 
Notice that for the top part of the wallet, I decided to connect the longest line from the left to the right of the wallet and this is very important. It will give you a guide in order to uh, connect the shorter lines. After that, from the center out, I'm just connecting that center point to the little tick marks on the side of that circle. Um, and again, after scoring each of these lines, make sure you fold it and press it down to have nice crisp lines. And then this will give you the accordion folding on the side of your wallet. Go ahead and do the same steps for the other side of your wallet and if you take the time to press and fold nicely, the side of your wallet will be very nice and flat. And that's pretty much it. You can just press it together, fold the flap over and put the cap on. At this point, you can take a look around the edges and trim off some of the lines that weren't straight before. You can make sure that the corners are nice and round. This is completely optional. It's really up to you because sometimes the rough edges is what tell you that this is a handmade type of uh, craft project. So I hope you enjoy watching this project. It's a little bit harder than the simple and quick projects that I have, but I hope you give it a try and with the summer coming you can do this with the kids in your family you can make a bunch of these and give away as gifts and it's quite addicting once you make the first one you will want to drink up all the cartons in your fridge and start making a bunch of them thank you so much for watching please give me a thumb up if you like this video and i will see you again soon thank you bye